guys, so today I am not in my usual setting, as you probably can tell, and it's maybe a bit echoey, because it's big, bigger than my place. Um, so I apologize for the sound, which is probably not the greatest. But this video is going to be short, unfortunately it's not going to be sweet and short, because what we're talking about today is quite depressing, revolting and sad and scary at the same time. I I wasn't really planning on doing a video, but um, I have obviously been following, you know, what's happening and what's happened in Brazil. Um, I was really hoping that Brazil would choose another president, um, but at the same time, I was kind of like accepting somehow the fact that, you know. Uh, this election would be as upsetting and disappointing and scary as many have been in the States, in Europe. Let's talk about France, which is where I am from. Our president right now is called Macron and on the last round he was opposed to the leader of the right wing, um, the very far right wing and he himself says that he's not a leftist and he's not on the right either it's obviously bullshit he's completely on the right um and it was a disappointment um i still i mean i still think that what happened in france uh, the fact that we didn't let um the alt-right <laughs> win and you know give us a president is still something to i'm not going to say it's something to celebrate but it's something to take into consideration to be grateful for and it is important uh, some people have said that it's not that important that it's just a symbol and whatnot but symbols do matter symbols hold meaning value and um even though we do not have a president that's from the alt-right the fact that this was the choice that we had as French people for the president is very upsetting and saddening. What happened, what happened in the UK is scary and saddening as well. What's happening in Italy is sad and revolting and scary. What's happening in Hungary, what's happening in Poland, what's happening in a lot of Eastern European countries, um, what's happening in the state and now what's happening in Brazil. Um, what's happening in Israel, you know, maybe that Israel obviously he, I mean, is a state that's colonized uh, Palestine for years, that's killed and imprisoned and tortured Palestinians for years, but they also recently passed some laws which really make Israel an, ethi an ethnic state, which is absolutely mind-blowing that no one really talks about it and no one really I don't know, it's just mind-blowing to me. Um, and you know what it really reminds me of is when there was the Arab Spring, you know, when a lot of people in Egypt, in then uh, Morocco and other countries uh, protested and went, I mean, took the streets to express their disappointment, their thirst for freedom, for democracy, their want, I mean, their will to see a change in the politics, in the politics of their countries. I felt like it was so beautiful and it was such a great wave of hope and strength and it was so sad to me to see it kind of crumbles down and Egypt to me is like the most speaking example of that because they took the street, they protested so much and now if you look at Egypt, they are also in the list of countries where democracy is dying, where you know the freedom to speak and to oppose a government is dying, where police can take you and you disappear and no one ha no one says anything and no one can really say anything. Um, opposition is dying in a lot of countries, freedom is dying in a lot of countries and you see fascism, because it is fascism, you see fascism sort of like gaining some sort of strength and power back and it's very sad and when you look at Arab 
spring, Arabic spring, it was just like, it felt very sad and very disappointing and upsetting for all of my fellow people over there, but it also felt kind of distant and foreign. But when you look at what's happening in the States, when you look at what's happening in Europe, it, to me, it really feels the same. It's like everywhere in the world, the spring that we had when it comes to democracy, when it comes to progressiveness in a lot of social aspects, I feel like it is slowly re like disappearing or being battled and f just destroyed by some sort of very conservative, very oppressive, very violent, very fascist and just disgusting people and disgusting parties and disgusting governments. And I wanted to make this video because it's, you know, everything is connected and I think maybe depending on where you live, you do not have access to a lot of information or maybe, I mean, for example, if you live in France, you know, you don't necessarily, and if you're not someone who goes on the internet and goes in certain places on the internet, maybe you don't know about politics in other countries. I certainly do not know about politics in all countries and I think YouTube is perhaps a place where, because we are so many and so many from different countries, different cultures and whatnot, it's perhaps a place to share and see what's you know, similar, what we can learn from each other and I definitely think we're seeing globally something happening and it's strange because it feels like it's the wrong reaction. It's, to me, it really looks like a reaction against capitalism, against liberalism. It looks like liberalism in the economic sense. Um, it looks like a reaction of fear and of hatred for a lot of things, but I feel like it's not directed obviously against the good people or the good organizations and institutions and whatnot, but it also looks to me like there are some parts of each country which are the parts which are usually in power. And yes, I'm gonna say it, it's gonna display, it's gonna, you know, make a lot of people angry, but yes, white men for the most, white women for the most as well, um, using their power and using demog uh, demagogy, demagogy, is it the word in English? I don't know. Populism basically to speak to the lowest classes and appeal to their fears in ways that are not right, that are not correct, that are not even factual against obviously the other, and the other is queer people, the other is foreigners, the other is migrants, the other is anyone who's not white and a good Catholic or a good Muslim even, sometimes depending on where you live, and who has a job, who has a family and who's, you know, struggling to live, but like we are all struggling in different ways apart for very few, and those very few are actually the ones who who with hypocrisy are running for presidentials and oftentimes winning. And it's very sad, but I think maybe, maybe a somehow positive way to look at it would be to analyze this as the last efforts, the last reactions of a dying world to me. Um, Obviously, it's a very positive way to look at things and it would be something that would need to be explained in many videos, but when you look at what's happening everywhere in Europe, in the Middle East, um, in Africa, when you look at what's happening in the States and Brazil right now, I want to see it as, obviously, it's a disaster and I'm making this video because it's a disaster and also because I have, I know a lot of Brazilian people watching me and I know that a lot of you must be absolutely devastated and I am devastated with you even though I acknowledge my privileges which is that I'm not Brazilian, I don't live over there and of course I'm not going to suffer the same consequences as you. But yeah, I feel very strongly about it. Um, but it's like, maybe it's the last moments of a dying world. The world of those white people, able people, religious people, rich people who want to protect their interests and their privileges. Maybe they're seeing the end is near and it's the last peak of their strength and power and I hope it is and I 
hope we're gonna find and I hope this is just a moment in time um, and I hope that by education, culture, action, direct action, by voting, by being resilient, we can change it and we are all in it because it's so easy to look at other countries and be like, oh my god, what are they doing? It's so disappointing but as I said, look at Europe. Europe is just this disaster as well right now maybe not the same of course but still it's not positive um, so yeah I wanted to react to that I hope this video somehow alleviates some pain maybe or makes you feel connected to others or less lonely or whatever we're gonna go through this hopefully um, I send all of my love to my Brazilian people and um, Especially if you're um, black or very brown or if you're queer or if you're poor or if you're a woman, um, stay safe and the rest of the world really feels, I believe, about this. Um, and yeah. Yeah, I hope you're still doing well somehow and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.